Welcome to a new Tea Acoustic video. My name is Victoria and this is our tutorial how to record some badass backing vocals at home. Backing vocals do make a difference. They're mostly used to highlight a certain song part, like a chorus for example, or to add some new interesting color to the lead voice. From my experience, producers often ask very spontaneously for backing vocals when the lead vocals don't have the desired punch in the end mix. So when we want to record them at home, we want a high professional quality. So let's check how we can do that. One major problem we can have when we record vocals at home is unwanted influences of the room sound, like noise or reflections. And especially when you're recording backing vocals and you add multiple takes to the lead vocals, it gets worse and worse. One of my favorites to record at home is the mic screen Flex because it reduces unwanted influences of space. So let's create a backing choir together for a song of mine and I'm gonna start with the piano. Right now, the track is still a little bit empty because the backings have a very important meaning in that track. They sing the hook line. A very important thing, I turned on a click and I started recording at the beginning of a bar, which is important for editing later. So now I'm gonna add the most important backing voice. It's in the same pitch as the lead voice. And I'm gonna sing it very straight, almost robotic, because it will be easier for me later on to match the phrasing of the first voice then. I made myself a loop so that I can make a few takes and I left a little bit of space at the end so that I can calm down a little bit before I go for the next round. Now I go for a second lower voice. I would recommend to listen to the first backing voice a few times because you want to match the timing and the phrasing perfectly as well as the attitude of the first voice. I would recommend to turn down the first voice a little bit so you can hear the voice you're actually singing right now a little bit better. Now I'm gonna add the last and the highest backing vocals. I'm gonna turn down the gain level on my interface a little bit to avoid clipping. Here we go. Now in this song, I recorded one take for each backing voice. If you want it a little bit more filling and you want a very big choir effect, then I would recommend to do each voice at least three times and sing it each time in a little different vocal tone and with a little different attitude so you get the impression that you hear three different singers. Some side facts, I'm usually not the one to edit my files. I edit a preset while recording to feel comfortable while singing, 
but now I'm gonna export the files and I'm gonna turn it off, of course, so the producer can do whatever he wants to do with my files. And this is the result. Hope you guys like it. If you have any questions left, tell us in the comments. See you next time. Bye bye. Like colors of the rainbow, match one another. We're better together, better together. As children of the sun, we're meant to help each other. We're